Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more Total War Three Kingdoms, the Furious Wild DLC, the 194 start date, as Liu Bei. So, in the last episode, we beat Tassar's army and we beat uh, Shu Chu's army. So, it does put us in quite a good state. This will be our fastest route to Shu Chang. I do want to take it and take the Emperor if possible. Over here, we've beaten Tassar's force. Uh, if we push forward, we might be able to support Sun Tzu attacking here or not. We'll see. We might have to retreat or... I'm not sure about that move. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> but we beat Tassar. We're now threatening him. Over here, things are going really rather well as well. Because we have Jiang Fei and we have Guan Yu. And they are both now ready to smash the living daylight out of Gaogan. So in Guan Yu goes. This will cause him to flee. And then Guan Yu can start to shift over there from next turn. You are going to go straight for Gu Pass. I want the pass. Thank you very much. Here we go. Decisive victory. I do like pass battles, but I don't see the point. That's just going to be a steamroll. So we now have the pass into the Black Mountains. Call to arms. As war grows, lines are drawn and everyone chooses a side. A warrior has come to you, promising their sword in service to your cause. They have heard your call to arms and will gladly fight in your name. I think we got one last episode as well, who I didn't check. So let's have a, a look. <clears throat> ah, we have Chai Yuejian and we have Ping Qingshan. Chai Yuejian. Ooh, she's good. Yes, yes, she's good. My basis for whether or not a strategist is good or not is if they have flaming shot and or fire arrows from level one. Um, don't take that as a <laughs> as a really, this is what makes someone good or not. Um, you are an administrator. Uh, you've got that. Uh, here, have a clay axe. Um, you're age 40, unfortunately, but you, you're young enough to be married. So let's have a let's have a, a a look look here. Do we have anyone who needs marriage? I think we do. I think we should have. Should we have Zhang Fei? How are you? You're unmarried as well i always forget i always forget it's two thousand that's a chunk of chain but let's marry you to the chan confirm there we go <clears throat> very very nice um nothing remotely real about that of course but it will work you are starting to get pissy because you've got a general lack of purpose uh oh you come with do you very much do heavy sealant cavalry magnificent ye archers heavy crossbows come with this rather scarily put together crap for um okay but with sealant cavalry we could Definitely put him into our flying army. I mean, you shouldn't have Xilian cavalry, I guess uh, you might say, but um, he could definitely work in that. What we could do, generally achieve no earth dragon. That's a lot of money. Do I have something that doesn't cost anything? Director of astronomy. No. Master of writing. We have that for now. That'll keep you happy whilst we're waiting for stuff to happen. Way is upgrading. We can do this. Way is all. Way is all um, industry and peasantry. Grain storage. Nice for public order. Public order is going down here. Administrative office, however, income from all sources, always useful. Um, all right. <clears throat> That's all looking good. Let's keep going. Sun Tzu, are you going to help us? 
stretch of way. Ah, he's raised another army and he's fucking off again. All right. So we can we can take Chen, uh, Pei Xian, I think that is, and then Wei Yan's gonna have to go back to the pass to hold. Um, we can't unite our forces because. I mean, we could, but we want to unite our forces coming uh, sort of a pincer movement rather than uh, direct. Um, just so we keep Tassar guessing and may maybe have him try and split his forces, take us out one by one. Which, uh, Sui Young. There we go. Patient is here. Yeah. Um, okay. Whoa. Birds drown in the river. Several bodies of drowned birds are found in the river one morning. One of our generals believes that things of air found dead in the water is a sign of the changing sky. Whether the omen is good or bad is unknown to them, only that some profound change is coming. Not good. Uh, building structure developments. Nope. Nobody I fancy. Characterize Gengu Yong. Fire arrows. Hurrah. Right. Uh, Wei Yan. Get back to Hu Lao pass um as fast as you've taken Gu, which means you can now come down here the siege um yeah what you got gauro jin juliang's brother is here for reasons known only to himself. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Delegate. Finish him. We lost a lot of people. Juki Jin is dead. That's not going to help us long run. Now, Gan is destroyed. We've taken this area. Capture has gained. No one knew. Series game. Zhuangzi. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Here, make yourself cheap. Um, okay, relationship lost, occupation, faction destroyed, everyone's happy. Now you're going to move over here. Uh, e. No, we don't want any of this shit. That can stay. What do you make? Peasantry. So why? No, that can just piss off. Government support in here. Off you pop. There. That'll work. <laughs> That's just silly. Uh, the way I have that. Who's in your army here? Jin Xuan. Yang Jinting. Uh, and who is this? Wen Chou. Arumeng. And. Ooh. Ooh. Why is he up this way? Um. This has now opened up an alley of attack here. Um, we will take it. There we go. Nice. We're in there. Our army's a little bit battered because we fought two battles on the trot. We've now got a foothold here. It seems Han Hao. Han Hao has... Xiang Yue Ju and Fu Shou. Not bad. Fu Shou, like, historically, not, not a bad commander either. Uh, Craftsman Workshop. This is, yeah, private workshops. Not keen on that. Not keen on that at all. I want to change this one, please. Off you go. Let's have some state workshops in here. No private construction until we've sorted con uh, corruption. Um, you're going to sit in there. I think what we could do. Chen Liu. Where is he? Jashu. Jashu, you're rather expensive. We're going to bring you in. Strong economy. There we go. We've raised a force. And you. We'd only get good things by having Jashu. Now, Jashu. You don't need them. No. You're not going to need this. No. You're not going to need them. Or them. Or them. Or them. You, my man. 
you my man Ooh, can you get mounted archers yes he, this is why we needed like a good strategist um one we get lots and lots and lots of uh, arrows and all that stuff but also right we get some uh mounted archers we can get mounted crossbows and all that stuff we can get heavy mounted archers later also our man here has Shilan cavalry <laughs> which is good because we don't need too many mounted archers frankly for this type of army they're useful but you don't want to overdo it like four of them will do the trick a couple of heavy seat well can't get heavy right now because he's too low level the other got the Shilan cavalry in here um give him say a couple of other generals i was gonna put it in Liu bay's army but not so sure right now now what am i looking for here i do want the lance cavalry that's part of our goal as well um i don't want cataphracts i'm not particularly keen on cataphracts uh oh we do want them we do we do want them as well um we're gonna need these guys first then we're gonna go over here down this line so we can get all of our cavalry types sorted um do we want the jade dragons possibly um but Liu Bei, we're definitely getting them whatever happens we're definitely getting them Liu Bei did not have a huge amount of heavy cavalry nor did sun chuan they did have heavy cavalry of course like everyone had some level of heavy cavalry but just if you look at their, their provinces, these regions here, and this region down here, which is primarily where their power base was, and then you've got the frontier regions, which were mishmash of barbarians, bandits, and and uh, the local uh, state-run uh, settlements of either Shu or Wu. Um, they didn't really provide a huge amount of the taxable income and all the rest. Most of it came from their power bases, like in Shu, uh, a region over here, in Hanjong as well, when they eventually took it, and from Wu and, and the like over here. That's where the majority of their taxable income from. Jing province, of course, did rather well, but Jing province was a battleground uh, for a good chunk of its history during this period. So a lot of it was burnt, but it did, you know, still had, you know, power bases where they could pull some from. But the majority didn't come from there, and they... Although they did have resources and the means and the foundation to produce lots of weapons, lots of armor and all the rest, they didn't necessarily have the horse planes that they had in the north. Um, so they wouldn't have spent that much time and money on developing lots and lots and lots of heavy horses. Also, if you think about uh, Wu, like their main power base was south of Yangs River. They had to transport the horses across the river and then you had like a no man's land between Yangs River and Hefei, and at Hefei they'd have, uh, like, Tao Tao had his fighting, so any horses that were coming over here would be spotted by Tao Tao's armies, um, the likes of Zhang Liao, likes of uh, Li Dian, the likes of um, Yue Jin, like, lots of people were down here at different times guarding the area. Um, Xia Hu Dun, uh, Taren, like they would have jumped on it with their own heavy cavalry. So they didn't have a huge amount of heavy cavalry. What they had instead was huge amounts of light cavalry. Um, now, armies during this period did tend to get heavier and heavier and heavier as the time period moved on, uh, move away from lighter and lighter forces, because in the old days they had lighter forces still with banditry from outside. When China was fighting f uh, within itself, and this, is, this follows the historic patterns as well, when China is a united nation they're dealing with outward threats of banditry they tend to have lighter forces to deal with bandits because they have to range out it's expensive to take heavy cavalry the heavy cavalry get bogged down against the lighter cavalry of the banditry and the nomads and you know it, it just doesn't work on a grand scale but when they're fighting internally they tend to get heavier because you know they've got planes they're fighting with more cavalry and you know all of that stuff you even see it with the chariots the chariots got heavier and heavier with the internal fighting they got lighter and lighter when they were ranging out, and then they eventually became horses. Um, so, in here, they did get heavier and heavier. But, just the resources and the location, and having to move through the mountains and all the rest, Liu Bei tended to have lighter cavalry rather than heavier cavalry. So, for this cavalry army, I'm not going to go all out for heavy cavalry. Um, we're going to have a few, of course, but that's not going to be the main focus. The main focus is going to be a lighter cavalry force. Um, we are going to build it up here with Jashu. Jashu is going to be our first one. Um, aside from Jia Xu, I don't really, I mean, Guan Ping, we could bring in there, um, wouldn't be my choice. The, the other option is, it costs so much money now, we're here, 
The other option is to switch these guys out and put them in here. But no, we'll give it to Guan Ping and we'll find another officer uh, to take over. Okay. Um, but I don't know who yet. But we'll give Guan Ping will definitely go in there. Jashi will go in there. And ideally, a, a, a commander type will be hired to go in or be captured to go in. Right, let's move on. Tassar's forces are advancing. Yes. We are going to make it to the pass just in time. Jashu is going to be there. We want Wei Yan in the pass. We want Jashu to be just behind. Um, just so he can have his presence felt. But there is that irritating thing that when they besiege it, they can just move an army straight through the pass, which I don't like. I don't think they should be able to do that. Okay. Okay. Where are you? Ah, there's Sun Tzu. Why is he... Not quite sure what he's doing, actually, now. Sun Tzu. Not quite sure. So, uh, yeah. Keep knocking across this way, Mr. Father of Tun Tian's system. Um, right, Wei Yan. In to the pass, you jump. Excellent, right. That is going to be very well guarded. Here. Now we're going to start recruiting. So, first of all, because I have the money, we're going to get a couple of those. Um, oh, just not enough money to fill him out. He's going to sit there. He's going to guard Chenliu. That's fine. You're sitting here um, defending this area. You need to replenish. It's going to take a few turns for you to replenish, unfortunately. Uh, you have gone up, but I've run out of money. So we'll build that. I think that will complete a mission for us at least. Um, yeah, you're coming down this way. Hurry up about it. Yeah, there we go. Very, very happy with that. Quick deal. No aggression pact. And sway. Jack has hand sway, creating vassal. No shame. I was hoping I'd be able to get something become vassal. No, I don't know why I keep clicking on that. Subservience, no. To cooperate, no. They always want that. Support vassal independence, no. Proposed unification, nobody's going to want that. Peace. Liu Zhang wants peace. He wants peace for a lot. 16. He wants peace for a lot. What will you give me? You have nothing. We have a mount. I need to give that to someone. I've forgotten about that. Um. You're not going to want to be vassalized. Um, but we can definitely peace. That's potentially workable. That's potentially workable. Anyway, um, military access. No. So he's not going to want any of that stuff. What about non aggression? No. Okay. But I notice he is rich. Now, rich is something that I like because you can pay me vast. Uh, maybe not that vast. Disappointed with that. Disappointed. How rich are you? Is this rich in comparison to me who has bugger all money? 2.5, 2, 1.3. So close. So close. That'll do. That'll do, because now... Thank you. Off you bop. You. Give me horses. Excellent. And you bay. Um, yeah, I think it's time you had some real cavalry. There we go. That'll do the job. We're going to have full stack, full stack, full stack. Only you, I believe. No, you do have full stack. I gave you a full stack. It's just uh, we want to switch those for someone a little bit more useful. You're going to sit in here, guard it. You're going to be slightly further back. Well, our pass itself has a decent garrison, if uninspiring, second tier team. The first team, first team's good. First team's good. Second team is, is it's a bit lacking, frankly. Um, You're ticking down 
which isn't ideal. We need to spend some money on Google Pass because Google Pass is not in a good way. That means you're going to hang around here. You can hang around in Shandang. Uh, Guan Yu is already shifting over here. Yeah, nice. Off you run. Now, Sun Tzu, are you going to be useful? Doesn't seem like he's going to be useful. I want your axe, please, Wenjo. Can I have it? I don't know who I've got who would really perfectly make use of it, but I just am lacking fighting weapons for champions and vanguards. Right. Good. Jung Ji is destroyed. Okay, yeah, Fang is in that. Shu Shu has joined. You hear of a man singing of waiting for a noble lord in the town. Dressed humbly in hempen robes and a turban, he reveals himself to be a great strategist. He is neither fledgling Venus nor sleeping dragon, however, but nevertheless still a man of talent. So, um, Shu Shu, uh, sorry, Shu, uh, Shu Shu is, is brilliant. He's good uh, in the game. Historically, I have some problems with how he is like really is compared to to romance because of course in in romance he's the one who helps mastermind uh, a Tsao Tsao defeat uh, not a Tsao Tsao defeat, defeat exactly but uh, one of Tsao Tsao's armies is defeated uh, by Shu Shu that just never happened um, that actually was a battle that Chuchu was probably not part of Liu Bei's forces at that time number one number two um, the, the the skirmish they're talking about taking place was actually a resounding victory for South South's forces so it's very difficult to say that he was a, a, a really good military strategist what he was was a an advisor to uh, Liu Bei at a time when he didn't really have any advisors um, and he did return to uh, look after his family um, who were under Cao Cao's they were living in in uh, Cao Cao's area of influence and Cao Cao knew this and sort of abused the familial relationship um, by taking care of and building up Guan Xi with Xu Xu's family whilst also having them very much under his watchful eye just in case Xu Xu did something wrong in which case he could use them as hostages you know that was his idea, similar to how he dealt with Ma Tung versus Ma Chao. Um, Ma Chao, of course, didn't give a shit that his father was going to die because he was a bellend. But um, Xu Xu did care, and so he went back and he became part of the Secretariat on Cao Cao and had a relatively low career, uh, low level career. Still, um, he did have a good reputation, and uh, he probably would have done better under different circumstances. Do I want any of these guys? No, probably not. Uh, character elements, definitely, yeah, definitely no. Double checking there. Great glaive, perfect. Perfect. Traits gained, assignments, excellent. Who joins Jaquay? Have yourself a glaive, you are now legendary. Magnificent. Now we have him. Oh, we have so many good strategists coming our way. We have Jashu. I would just was not banking on having Jashu. Having Jashu has sort of accelerated plans. I was going to have uh, Shu Shu just walk into Liu Bei's army here and then punt uh, Diao Chan out. Um, but that's that's not going to happen anymore. Um, what I am going to do, whilst I remember, is give you a decent horse. You can have a white horse. That will uh, go well. Here we're going to upgrade this thing of beauty. Um... I'm here. Ambush. Okay. Right. That's fine. You, I want you in good pass now. Just to guard there. Alright. Come on, Tao Tao. I want you to... Sun Tzu, you fool. I... I really want Tarsal to advance on Wei Yan's position with his forces 
so I can send Liu Bei up behind. Liu Bei's forces, I can't put him in ambush position and risk them coming down that way. Right now, whilst his forces are still replenishing, but Wei Yan can take it because he has the reinforcements at the Lao Pass, and even if I, if they try to besiege it and take a turn, I can move Jashu up as well with his forces. Okay. Uh, war, stable economy. Yes, we constructed that building. Shushu's mother. Shushu is asked for a meeting and arrives looking distressed. My lord, though I know you still have need for me, it seems fate has other plans. My mother has sent an urgent message to meet with her, and I must leave immediately. It's a trap, of course. I say this, deterioration. If we do this, we follow the story, and then we are not Pang Tong and the like. I'm going to let him leave. Um, it's a shame. I would normally keep him, to be honest, but I have Jashu, so um, I don't give it to us. Mostly because I know that I can probably pick up uh, other people later who are just as good. Zhang Ba. Who have you been with recently? You've been with Kong Rong for a few years. Uh, yeah, you're disloyal, unfortunately. It's not fair to you. Truly, you were rel not relatively, you were extremely loyal to uh, Cao Cao. But hey, we need to upgrade this. Assignments. We now have people who can do assignments. Uh, we can't send Shu Chu because he's going to piss off. But what we can do is look at Pingyuan Ping Yuan's industry. Um, nope, don't have anyone who can push industry. We've got peasantry and we have commerce. Commerce here. Le An, we have that. Dong, Dong is industry. No. Peasantry at Shappy, though. Peasantry at Shappy, in you go. Go have fun in there. That'll work. I quite like, uh, what's her name? Chai, 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 Chai Yuejuan into an army as well, because she has flaming shots and like. Um, do you know what? You're coming down this way too, my man. Come here. Into water. Out of water. Come join the party down south. You have started to uh, build up quite nicely. So shift here, and you shift into Amber Stance as well. I want a battle, Cao Cao. Give it to me. Give me a battle. Ambush failed. Um, you reckon I'll lose this because they have cavalry. That's why. But Fu Shou, who's hurt. They've got Shang Yueju, who's hurt. They've got Han Hao, who's hurt and has a weapon. Their veterancy is similar. They have better cavalry. I'm going to fight a knight battle. Night battle doesn't work in my favour, apparently. We're going to fight a day battle. Let's do this. I think I can win this. I uh, We're slightly outnumbered. That's not a problem. We've got a rock chucker. We've got decent cavalry. We unfortunately, have a little bit too much militia for my liking, but it's not as if they don't have militia too. They've got a lot of shields, which doesn't work in our favour, even though their cavalry has shield too. They don't have any archers to speak of. Okay, so um, we're technically attacking. We need to keep that in mind. We'll move back here. I do want dueling on though. You boys, I want you as far advanced as we can get you. One, two, three, four, five here. Um, you can sit here. You chaps here. You're going to start chucking rocks straight away. Our flanks have to be guarded by militia. Okay, um, don't hold out much hope for that. So we sort of need to defend against their cavalry really rather well. We can throw these um, spiky bits about, which will help. We do, you can be there. You're not altogether useless. You can go there. You can go there. Let's start this. You're going to advance. You're going to advance because we want to have these things being chucked. Ideally... Lots of these all around to discourage people's direct charge. Which I think we can persuade 
the enemy to do. But we'll have to see. So we're going to advance here. I don't think any of them are going to want to duel me. No, I take that back. And how is stupid. And how is not a bad duelist. But we're better. As he will learn. We are so much better. So, Wei Yan, Han Hao, <clears throat> Han Hao, of course, extraordinarily brave officer, a subordinate of uh, Xia Hu Dun, saved Xia Hu Dun's life when he was captured by some rebels. It's not altogether an easy fight. Um, he will put up a damn good fight. He's a level above us. He's got a decent weapon. He's a champion. We're, of course, champion as well. We're a legendary champion at that. Um, and we have really cool toys as he will learn if this starts to get closer. I think now's the time. And... Here it comes. BAM! We lose a chunk of health, but we'll get it back if we win that. There we go, he's finished. And how is out. And how is out. Excellent. They are gonna start to converge. Leela, you're gonna hang back a bit. One, two, three, four. I know my cavalry was left in the back line. That was deliberate. It wasn't a mistake by me. I'm leaving them there to cover my rear because I think the cavalry's going to be all over me. Wei Yan, I need you to pony up. Um, we'll have a party. It's entirely up to you. I'd like you to come here, though. I would really like you to come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a good boy. Get on your horse. How are you? Yeah, you're ready. There, Cav. One, two, go. One, two, go. Go. You've got no one over there to defend against this one if it comes. Wei Yan, you're on your horse. Congratulations. Let's ride. Ride, 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 ride. Them. I need you to take them. Wei Yan's lost a lot of health. We have, however, got in here. We're going to take that off. You've already got that off. One, two. Get out this way. Go, 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 go. Oh, Come on. Ride. Ride, ride, ride. They're flank my militia. Not pretty. Not pretty. Over here, boys. Over here. Wei Yan, to the rescue. In you come, my man. In you come. We're out of everything else. You stay in this fight. Just stay in this fight. There we go. That's what I want. Mm. What? Yeah, you're charging in there. It's not what I wanted. You. Can I select you? You guys, in here. You, in here. Break them. Wei Yan, let's have some of this. Charge bonus as we hit. Doing next to cock all damage. You guys reform. Advance here. Take them out. Your fear alone is making them wobble. You boys can stay there for now. How is this going? That's going badly. Out you come. Out you come. Where are you? Chasing them? No, too far, too far. I should have paid better attention. I need you back over here. I need you back over here quickly. Charge. Back this way, charge. You boys, in here. Please. Uh, yeah, you come back here too. You, chase her down. You, get in here. That'll do. Keep riding. Actually, charge in here. Charge in here. I was going to send them round the flank, but no. Right, out you come, boys. Excellent job. Go reform over there. Go, 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 go. Whilst there's just their commander on us. Uh, not what I wanted. Bang. Swing round and hit them. Swing round and hit them. In. Kill. Right, you're not holding. You are not holding. Wei Yan, in you go. Sabres in. Cavalry out. That will work. Wei Yan's presence. Game changer. Do I want to drop another one of these? Probably not if I can help it. I need to be sparing. You can do your thing though. 
No, our cavalry's been caught. Our cavalry's been caught. Fuck. Okay. Get up and around. I want you on their crossbows. Ride. You chase them. Ride. Take that off. All of you. Take that off. Okay. How are we? Uh, chase. Come here. Come here. Excellent. Back down here. Yeah, way on. You just keep chasing them off. I think you've done your bit. You have been fantastically useful holding that line. You guys can take a flank position here. Well done, boys. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go help them over here. We'll leave the spearmen alone. You keep moving around. Our men are running. Who's running? Ah, them. That's fine. That's fine. They've done their bit. They've done their bit really rather well. In you charge. You boys. They decided to turn and stand. Not ideal. But you've come back. Which is important. Now, you can come over here and take a stand against the crossbowmen when you're there. Uh, you boys actually, sorry, form up here. Just hold the line. We'll chop them up. They have been chopped. One, two. You chaps come over here. I had no idea you were running away. Um, my apologies. I should have paid better attention to you, Miju, but I just don't care enough about you. Uh, right, advance. On oh, chase. Wei Yan, Wei Yan's still killing over there. We can't take him away. You can definitely drop some of that, though. You, turn and charge. You, up here. Hold here. You hold here. Chase them. You actually can go over here and start killing people. That'll work. These guys are dead. Charge. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Excellent. Swing round. They're dealt with. You can ride off over here. And what's more, you can ride off over here. And let's absolutely go nuts. You're killing for fun over there. That just leaves him. Which means... Fusho. I'd like him to run away, ideally. Come back this way. Come on, cavalry. Come back over here. Chase them off. It's fine, they can have no ammo. Leela, you're going to come here. Wei Yan, they're dealt with. I need you over here. Speed this up. Because this is now just for him. He doesn't have any special things. Hmm. Come down here. Kill them. Have or kill all them. You can come over here. Where Yan is coming as fast as he can. Which is not all that quick. He must be pretty damn tired. Yeah, exhausted. How are you? You're alright though. You're tired. Tired is fine. But you're not really this type of... Come on. Just roar. Is he going to run? Does he even look like he's going to run? He doesn't look like he's going to run. If you just hit him, he'll die. Sneeze. Oh, God, Leela. What do they... There we go. Finally. There we go. Valiant defeat my ass. We lost our 800 men. Which is fair enough. But his army's in absolute pieces. Cao Cao can't advance anymore. Yeah, he's got 700 men left. Uh, you can be released. We're going to take the replenishment. That's what is advancing. We're going to retreat from this one, though. Because, yeah, he then has to fight us. Yeah, it's not going to work for him. Magnificent. Okay, Yuan Shi has decided to send an army down. That's nice. Very, very nice. Got a level up there in Wei Yan's army too. Hopefully it's Wei Yan.
It's a wrong. No, he died. But it's a boo. The brother is taking over. Shushu has left. A magnificent feast is erected outside the city gates to honor Shushu as he prefers to leave. You escort Shushu out, and before bidding a tearful farewell, he teaches you of one called Sleeping Dragon, a man of great genius whose talents at debate exceed his own. Well, if we catch him, we'll be able to uh, replenish him as Miju. Miju could do with having something as well, actually, to be fair. Um, faction Succession, Yuan Long. Nah. I don't need another one of those right now. Tuan Guan. Uh... We're quite interesting. Maybe with Kong Rong, though. He's quite fun. He's interesting. Um, I might think about that, but that is not for now. That is all for the next episode. So we've done rather well. Wei Yan has uh, successfully defended this area. Yes, Wei Yan has gone up as well. We are definitely going to do this. Flexibility is very, very nice. Redeployment across all the rest. Uh, armor for spears is very, very good, but guerrilla deployment and chance for ambushing, I do like to ambush, so you can have this. So, we've done what rather well. We have Guan Yu here now. We can advance and take out Tata in the central plains. That's all for next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.